Hi, this is Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy, and today I'd like to share with you how we can create beautiful seamless patterns. Um, to do this, we're going to work with a square shape to start off with, so make sure whatever your artboard size is that it's a square. And first we're going to make a background color. I'm just going to make take the rectangle tool and make a background. I'm going to make it this kind of peachy color to start off with. And I'm going to use the arrange and send to back to make sure that's at the bottom of my layers. Um, so when you do this, um, I'm kind of just showing you how to make some random patterns and those are my favorite kind. Uh, there are better ways if you're trying to make more linear patterns to do this, um, but this is going to be how we can kind of make more random patterns. Um, so now what we're going to do is I have some seashell illustrations over here that I've done and I'm just going to kind of pick from these. Um, I really like this one. So I'm going to start with this one, make it a little bigger, and probably put it about right there. And I think I'll make it this kind of pink color. And I think I want to also include this shell. Put that one maybe right here. Um, I'll make that one, we'll also make that one pink. Um, keep in mind, anything that's hanging off the axis or off the lines on the top or sides, um, that is going to be replicated on the opposite end. And that'll make more sense as we go along, but that's what we're going to keep in mind as we're placing these objects. Um, I'm also going to include this little polka dot starfish. I'll just put him right here. We'll make him purple. I decided it's a him. He's got a little bit bigger. He's not going to hang off the sides at all, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Okay, so now what we're going to do this up a tad, is we are going to copy the background. You can make another square for this, but I'm just going to copy and then paste in front by doing Command F after I've copied it. And then I'm going to arrange and bring it to front. That's just kind of my favorite way to do that. Um, and then we're going to move this over to the left side. Oops, just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing. Copy, paste to front, arrange, bring to front. And then we're going to put this one overlapping the part of the shell that's on the top. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate each cell. So copy, command C, paste to front, command F. And then we're going to create a clipping mask. So have the top one selected and then also select this square that we've created. And then do command 7 or object clipping mask make. And now you're going to have a separate piece here. And then do the same thing with this shell. So copy, command C, command F and then select it along by holding shift um, along with this square and then do another clipping mask. Once you have that, you're going to have this piece that's separate. And we're going to take that and we're going to drag it to the opposite side. And do the same thing with the one on the top. Drag it to the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to take all of my original shells and my starfish I'm going to group those together, make another copy of the background, and bring it to the front, and then select my group that I just made, clipping mask, command 7, and there you go. And this is a seamless pattern, hopefully. So we're going to check it out now to make sure that it's correct. I'm going to take everything that we've done, and we're going to group it together, and then I'm just going to take it off the artboard and make a copy over here and then we're just going to make a few copies of it drag it along and then just duplicate it a few times do the same thing on the top whoops forgot to copy it there you go now if we zoom out, we can see that we've created this cute little seashell pattern. So there you go. That's my tutorial on how to make beautiful seamless patterns.